was such a lean on DeAndre this offseason, you know, because of what he went through the offseason before with all the backlash? I don't think, I wouldn't say I leaned on him. I think he was, more than anything, he was just a real friend. Um, at the end of the day, you know, he wanted me to come to the Clippers, but he, at the end of the day, he didn't care. You know, he was, he was going to be my friend no matter what. And I think, um, you know, I, I kind of gravitated towards just being around that, you know, um, and wanting to be around just genuine, you know, friendships, no matter who you play for, what you do, what decisions you make. You know, it was, that's what it was more, more so, you know, that's why I was around him more than anything, because it was just genuine and mutual love for each other. And, uh, you know, yeah, we didn't really talk about it too much. You know. so what what did it matter to you that he knew what you were dealing with? Though? Um, I think from the, from the standpoint, like making a decision uh, based based upon like what you wanted, you know, not factoring in everybody else's feelings or everybody else's opinions, just solely doing what you wanted to do. And I think that's what um, that's what you know we kind of had in common. You know, he, he made his decision, and, and then he you know our situations were different. But just making a decision that he wanted to make, um, I think that's what we kind of we kind of agreed that you know we both went through the same things. You know, from him going to Dallas, <clears throat> him going to Dallas, excuse me, and and, and then having second thoughts about wanting to stay here around the people that he you know he grew up with and you know wanted to you know stay with this organization. I, I think you know, him making that decision was bold. It was uh, it was a tough decision. It made him uncomfortable, but it grew him as a person and as a basketball player. I felt the same way about my decision, so we kind of, you know, it, it made it made conversation, it made us just get to know each other, um, made it better, and also just you know, having things in common as far as work-related things. I think it, it helped um, just having someone that can, can relate to what I want. Tim, what aspects of the Clippers' presentation this summer were appealing and intriguing? Blake, DJ, and, and CP. That's that's what made it interesting. You know, those three guys are tremendous, you know, unbelievable talents, and um, you know, they made it tough on me. They made it tough, you know, just knowing those guys. Like I said, DJ is a close friend. CP, been knowing him since I was in high school. We've gotten got to know Blake over the years. Um, that's what made it tough. You know, all the other stuff. Um, I've been in LA every summer. You know, of facilities they. You know, all that stuff is the same to me. As long as you got a court and the ball, you know, but this happened to players is what and Jamal Crawford have been a, a close friend of mine since I've been in the league. So, you know, the players, that's what made it tough. And uh, you know, they did a great job. Hey, I went to the scrum just a little bit behind um, what was it that DeAndre said to you and you said to DeAndre about making those tough decisions? We didn't talk about my decision. We didn't talk about what I what I wanted to do. We didn't like I didn't <clears throat> I mean, I just did it. I didn't tell him what I was doing. I just made a decision, and he was the first one to text me and tell me that he was proud of me and congrats. And you know, and we just moved on from there. It wasn't why or you know how come you didn't come to us or it was none of that. It was just. I meant like during Olympics, Last perhaps one. did you guys maybe? Oh, okay. Kind of. We both had to make tough choices. Yeah. You know? yeah. You know, you don't talk about those things, those things, but you just know it's in the air, and you just kind of you can relate to. He can relate to me. I can relate to him a little bit on making the decision that he wanted to make, and the same with me. But for the most part, we just carried on with our friendship, man. I, you know, that stuff can get in the way because it's you know it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter when it comes to friends and family. This stuff doesn't matter. So we we both realize that. And I think once you get that in that point to that point in your life where like. You can separate the two. It makes friendships even better. It makes relationships even better. And I think that's that's the level we're at right now. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Hoop jab. Hoop jab.